Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, in the last video we saw how Amazon SQS service work. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with simple notification service which is Amazon SNS service. Uh, so SNS is a push based service unlike SQS which was a pool based uh, system. So let's go ahead and take a look at SNS. So you can go to service and you should be able to find SNS under application integration. So click on it and uh, you should land up on an uh, starting page so you can click on get started and there are a couple of options here uh, you can create a topic you can create an application platform you can create a subscription or you can publish a message uh, we'll do that in a short time but before that let me quickly explain how SNS works so in SNS you basically have a top topic you create topics and then you have multiple subscribers that subscribe to it and then when a publisher publishes some uh, data to a particular topic all the subscribers that have subscribed to this topic uh, will receive uh, the notification with that particular data right so for example think of uh, the stock market so you might be subscribing to multiple stocks or uh, let's say you have a particular stock and multiple uh, clients subscribe to a particular stock and when the market price of that stock changes all the people who are subscribed to that stock will get a notification with that current price right so uh, that is how uh, uh, SNS service works so you have a topic you uh, a publisher publishes uh, a data or a message to a topic and all the subscribers that have subscribed to that topic will receive that message so let's go ahead and create a topic so again uh, before you do that uh, SNS is a region specific service so make sure you select the correct region uh, it doesn't matter what region you select but uh, your latency of your message when you publish a message or when you receive will will depend on this particular region so let me give some name let's call it test uh, topic and let's call it test topic and say create now once your topic is created you can publish or you can uh, basically create a subscribers to it so let's create a subscription uh, to this topic so uh, this ARN is already pre-populated uh, now subscribers can be one of this uh, types so it can be an HTTP or an HTTPS endpoint uh, it can be an email or it can be an email JSON format or you can even uh, basically send your messages from a topic to an Amazon SQS queue so this is mainly used to fan out uh, your messages so let's say you have you get a message on a simple uh, Amazon SQS you basically want it to be going to multi multiple SQS queues so that the way you do it is when the message arrives in SQS you basically forward it to an SNS topic and have uh, multiple other SQS queues subscribing to this topic and that's how one SQS queue can broadcast uh, the message to multiple uh, SQS queue using a topic so that's Amazon SQS uh, you can create a new application uh, by application I mean you can use uh, something like uh, Google GCM notification to send notifications to your Android devices and stuff like that so that's what an application is for and finally you can even trigger a lambda based on uh, SNS notification that you receive uh, for this demo I'm just going to select Amazon uh, email JSON uh, just for the demo and for endpoint is basically the email that you want to subscribe so I'm just gonna give my email which is open source for geeks at gmail.com and click on create subscription so once you do that it will say pending confirmation uh, and uh, so this basically uh, does not allow you to add ra any random email IDs and spam them so the email ID that you enter here needs to confirm the subscription so if you see I have already gotten this message for AWS uh, notification subscription confirmation so this is the subscription URL and if you notice this is a JSON which we had created so let's just click on it and you can see that it returns a response uh, which says that uh, you are you are subscribed to this particular topic so let's go ahead and refresh this and you can see that the subscription ID is now generated uh, before it was showing pen pending confirmation and now when we publish something to this topic uh, this particular email ID is going to receive uh, the data so let's go ahead and publish something let's call it hello world subject and let's see call this body 
right so that is pretty much it let's keep it raw uh, this is the time to leave so this basically uh, specifies how much time uh, the you want this message to be living on the topic uh, so if let's say you give uh, let us see what it is in TT va TTL value in seconds. So let's say you give 60. So your message message will stay for 60 seconds on that topic. And if there is a new subscriber coming up within that 60 seconds, that subscriber is going to get that message. Else it will not, right? So it, the message will basically live on the topic till 60 seconds. Uh, all right. So th you can give go ahead and add attributes here, but I'm gonna keep everything as default and click on public message. And you can see that the message is now published. Uh, so let's go back and see our. Uh, so there we go. You can already see it as uh, sent test topic and hello world subject. Uh, you can see that in subject, which is hello world subject, and message is hello world body. So this will always get all the messages that are published to that particular topic right so uh, that's about it uh, how topics works how publishers subscribers work uh, next thing I wanted to show you is the application uh, so I just give an example of Android TCM uh, but you, you have multiple platforms supported so you have Amazon device messaging which is ADM you have Apple production and uh, this, there is a GCM that I mentioned uh, before uh, there is Microsoft uh, WNS so there are multiple protocols that are supported here so you can go ahead and create an application here and then basically go ahead and create a subscription out of it and that is how uh, your uh, SNS service works so uh, coming back to the dashboard you can see a quick summary here you have one one topic and it has one subscription uh, but you can go ahead and create multiple subscriptions and we just saw uh, what all subscriptions uh, are allowed like for example you can have an HTTP or HTTPS endpoint you can uh, basically have an Amazon SQS queue subscribe to this topic or you can have uh, a basically trigger a lambda based on the SNS notification Alright, so that's all. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.